Hi folks, Jay from All About Photography. Today I'm going to talk to you about importing photographs into Lightroom and using their catalogue system. Uh, it can be a bit tricky for beginners, it can be very confusing, so I'll run through the basic steps. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to plug in a thumb drive rather than a memory card from a camera. But I'm going to plug it in, there it is up here. I keep on my desktop a folder called photos where I keep all of my photos and I have names for them so I can easily find them look up anything I particularly want to just reference by names and they're in alphabetical order so um, it's a system that I like to use so what I want to do is import some of these photos off the thumb drive and store them in my photos folder so I can reference them later on so I'll open up um, Lightroom now when you open Lightroom it'll come up into this folder here, if it doesn't what you need to do is go into uh, File, Import and it'll bring up this folder. Now what I want to do is find down here is that Lexa thumb drive, if I tick on that and I want to use these photos in here. This is a series of five photos that I've taken at different exposure values uh, just to show how exposure compensation works to my students. So what I want to do is import those five photos into a folder on my hard drive and use them through the Lightroom catalogue system. So across the top here, you'll see there's three steps. One is where they're coming from. It says they're in a big white box. Over here is where they're going to, and this is what you want to do with them in between. So I want to import them from my Lexar thumb drive, and I want to make a copy of them. Now there's a few things across the top here. The copy is DNG. What that what the first step will do is if you copy them, it'll make a copy of them off the thumb drive and store them on your hard drive as a DNG file, which is digital negative file. Um, that's something I don't do. Uh, it's a type of file that can be easily recognized by any computer or any printing device. Um, I usually mainly deal with JPEGs or RAW files from my Nikon camera, which are an NEF. If they're a Canon camera, they'd be a CR2 file, for example. But what I want to do is make a copy. So I'm going to make a copy of the files from the thumb drive and copy them onto my hard drive. The other alternative is if I wanted to move them. If I wanted to move them from the thumb drive, it would take them off the thumb drive and store them on my hard drive, and they'd no longer be on the thumb drive. The other alternative is add. Now, if these photos, if you've already copied them onto your desktop or into a folder system in your computer, you can add them to the Lightroom catalog and it'll reference them from where they are. But these aren't on my computer, so I want to make a copy, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make a copy from the thumb drive to my hard drive. Now, the next step for this is down below here, you'll see destination. So this is where you want the photos to go from your memory card or your thumb drive, hard drive, whatever you're using, we're going to copy them and we want to put them somewhere on your computer. So like I said earlier, I use on my desktop a photos folder. So that's where I want them to go. I'm going to put them in there and I'm going to call them something. So now to name them, instead of just, if I pressed import now, I would just get these five photos plonked into my photos folder. They'd be loose in there. Uh, I'm in amongst all the other folders, but what I want to do is put them in a folder, keep them nice and organized and neat. Now, up above here, you'll see into one folder. Normally, by default, that would be by date, and that would be unchecked up there. So it would import the, fold, the photos and just put a date and a time in them of when they were imported. Now, that's hard to keep track of your photographs if they're just a date and a time when you import them. You don't remember you can't find them, you've got to go through all the dates to find the photos. If you call them something, so that's what I do, I want to put them, I don't want the date, sorry, I want to go up here and go into one folder. So I want to put them in a folder, in that folder. But I need to name that folder, so they're into a subfolder. Um, I've already got exposure compensation typed in here, so that's what I want to use. Oh, if I wanted to call that blue car, I could type in blue car, but I want to use exposure compensation, so what it's done is set up a little folder here, that's the destination of where they're going to go. So as you can see, they're going into a subfolder on my desktop, in my photos folder, in a folder called exposure compensation. So that's what I want to do. I'll press import, 
main. It's doing that. It's going to build the smart previews, going to import them, all ready to go. If I just drop that window down and I'll show you inside my photos folder now, there's a folder called exposure compensation. If I open that, there's my five car pictures. So that's easy. If I ever want to find those photos, that's where they are. It's a pretty simple system. It will reopen Lightroom again. So when you've imported them, it'll open up in the library module inside Lightroom itself. This is where it keeps track of all of its own photos, um, files, and then again, once you start to go into the develop module, any modifications you do to these photos. So from here, there's lots of different things you can do. And I won't go into that today. Over on the right here, as you can see, there's lots of other things you can do these photos before you go into the editing part. Um, you can do a quick develop, which means that if any changes you want to add to these photos before you even go into the develop module, it'll import them with these changes made already. So you can just simple things, clarity, vibrance, exposure. You can even build a preset. You can change the white balance all before it even goes in there. So um, you can do all of that. You can add keywords. You can check your keyword list to, that if already words you've put in that you can add to these photos. Metadata. Now this is a big thing. You can add. So this is a. I've got one selected. I have one photo selected there, and that's the one two EV minus two EV. And it's going to all the information of when I took the photo, what I took it with, what my ISO was, Nikon camera 70mm 2.8, all that sort of metadata in there. And I've, what I've done is added in my name to the metadata so that if ever any of my photos, I put them online and somebody copies them and steals them, built into the metadata is my name, my phone number, and my address, so that any time I've got proof that that photo is mine, unless the metadata is deleted. But if I have the raw file, I own that photo anyway. But I'm not going to go into that. Um, what we do is go straight into the develop module. So click on the develop module, select the photo, which it already does, and there we are. So there's my five photos along the thumbnail, different exposure compensation readings on them, and I can start moving the sliders to edit the photos, but there's nothing I really want to do to these and that's something that I'm not going to get into in this video. So go back quickly to that library module. That's the simple steps to how to import your photographs into Lightroom, name them, give them a destination so that they'll always be on hand to edit. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you um, Watch some more of my videos and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you.